Really got it out the mud, think they forgot. I had to get it out the mud, cause it was either that or drown. Now they say a nigga dirty, but they won't ever say it to me. They wait until I'm not around. I swear I wish I had the time y'all did. Out here hating for free. I don't see why they hating on me. It's probably cause a nigga gassing. I've been grinding for the last few months, years all evacuated. God ain't give me that Bentley yet, cause he know I'ma act the ass in it. Probably get drunk somewhere, wanna bypass it, up passing it. I came too far now, and I won't stop now. I can't say that I dreamed of this, cause I've been up straight getting to it. I want a bag and I'ma get it too. I chase it down like I'm. Okay, 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 okay. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Kid Beast. And if you don't know, if you're new to this channel, if you're wondering why you're here, if you saw me somewhere and you decided, okay, let me check this shit out, you are watching YBM TV. Now, um, I just got the news. I just found out. I'm probably not even the first person to upload the video, but. We did just lose DMX, and it's crazy. Um, it hasn't really hit me yet. Like I said, I just just found out. Um, you know, you got to be quick with this shit. But um, the um, main thing that I want to say that I'm gonna remember, buddy, for is uh, Belly Boy, one of my favorite movies ever. Literally, the first 20 seconds or the first 20 minutes of the movie, iconic already. Um, I definitely remember him running with the Rough Rider. I was born in 93. So when DMX was already popping, I, I really wasn't even listening to music at the time. Um, by the time I got older, you know, I definitely knew who he was. He was definitely an um, influential artist, um, if anything. I do know a fun fact that I found out. DMX, over the span of, I want to say like 10, 15 years maybe, every album that DMX ever put out went number one. No matter when he dropped it, for a decade, he put out 10 albums. Every album that he put out went number one. I don't know about recent albums after that, or if the if he ever broke the record or whatever. Or if it even is a record, I don't know. But I do know, I do remember reading that every album that DMX put out for 10 years, the first 10 albums went number one. That's crazy. My favorite rapper not doing that. He ain't, he ain't did it. So <laughs> I don't even think my favorite rapper got a number one album. No cap. So um, you definitely got to remember him for that. Um, I do, um, you know, the Rough Riders. Uh, I remember seeing posts about them coming up there. And um, you knew, um, you know, uh, sitting in the uh, parking lot of the... Um, of the uh, hospital and things and you know just being there for him and I wonder if you know if any of them got to like talk to him uh, he's probably pretty much brain dead so um as far as far as I know he a couple days ago um I don't know if he took a lot of drugs and tried to overdose or if the drugs he took were like laced or bad or whatever but um it, it don't take a rocket scientist to know that DMX was off of something. Like, he definitely wasn't, it just wasn't weed. Like, that. he was doing drugs. I think he even admitted it at one point in time, I don't know. But he definitely was doing drugs. And so I don't know if he, if it was a, a attempted suicide, if he wanted to, you know, OD on purpose. But whatever, however, the quantity or quality of the drugs led to a heart attack. The heart attack led to him being in the hospital for a couple days. And then um, I am in Illinois right now. I can't really tell you the time zone, but it is 1149 right now. Um, he probably died what, 10 minutes ago. Not even that. Probably like seven minutes ago. So, um... Yeah, man, it's tough. It's real tough. Another um, another thing that I will say I will remember him for is uh, Cradle to the Grave. Any movie, all of his movies low-key was dope. I never really struck him as an actor, for real, for real. But he actually made, like, buddy movies was fire. Belly, of course, number one. But Cradle to the Grave, classic. I swear that's a classic. And believe it or not, um, Cartoon Connect literally just did... A Christmas uh, video for DMX and it was super super dope I'm gonna have that uh, so y'all can click on it it's probably gonna be right there I think that's the corner that it be in but um that's boy I'm talking about literally just got the opportunity to work with DMX I didn't necessarily help but I watched him animate it so it was definitely dope um, 
you know, that's, um, that, it's just crazy, man. It's real hard to, uh, to lose people in hip hop. And it's definitely been, um, it's definitely been a lot of losses over the past couple of years. 2020 alone was horrible for, for, uh, celebrity deaths. And now 2021 ain't looking too, too much better either. Uh, the dude from Harry Potter just died not too long ago, a couple days ago. Um, it's a lot of, People getting old though, y'all gotta understand. When we was growing, all the people that we remember growing up, they was already older than us. So like it's it's about it's about their time for real for real. Like we we honestly can't even be mad. Um, you know it's sad. It's definitely sad to lose people like that. But you know, um, boy, everybody got their time, and um, you know we we definitely will remember DMX. Um, heart are heavy right now i don't know what i was about to say you see i had to switch it up hearts are heavy right now our thoughts and prayers that's what i was trying to say um go out to um his family kids and all of that um you know i hope that uh well now i don't i was about to say i hope that the funeral is televised so i can see it but i really don't like you know some people don't want or some people think that you know to televise funerals and things like that are crazy but I thought having Michael Jackson's funeral televised was dope. I remember sitting down watching that. I remember exactly when that happened. That was crazy. Um, and so I feel like DMX is one of those people who, you know, it might be a live thing, something we could stream, you know, just to pay our respects. I'm I'm definitely going to uh, tune in for that. I can't wait. Um, cut on some, uh, or I know it's going to be some music blasting. It's, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be definitely a, a, a beautiful memorial. And um, I hope that I get a chance to see it. And, um, you know, I thank y'all for, you know, just kicking it with me for a little bit to just talk about this. Um, like I said, I'm probably not first, but as soon as I got the notification, I came down here to just, you know, if anybody else didn't know or whatever, whatever, here it is. Um, you know, it's sad. It really is sad. But what can you do?